Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Hylinski. I'm the curator of live animals here at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery. And I've brought one of my personal favorite animals with me today for you guys to meet. And this is Sandy, our Kenyan sand boa. So you can see Sandy here has a lot of really cool adaptations to help her life, live in Kenya in the sand in the deserts there. So this camouflage pattern you can see on her back, very beautiful brown, beige, lots of those kind of sandy earth tones. And now I like to say if she was a bright green snake, she would not have a great time camouflaging in the desert. There's not a lot of plants, not a lot of green color in the desert. So this color she has on her back here is excellent camouflage helping her hide herself. They have a lot of other special adaptations as well. So her little teeny tiny head, it's probably hard to see, but on top of her head, she's a little different from other snakes. So her eyes and her nose are set on the top of her head. So I like to think about her kind of almost like an alligator, how alligators have their nose and their eyes on top of their head so they can keep their head sticking out and hide their body under the water. Sandy likes to keep her body hidden under the sand and she likes to keep her head sticking out so that she can watch out for any danger, which her main predators would be eagles, hawks, and other birds of prey. And then her prey would be other small animals. So mice, other small animals like that. So she can hide under the sand and then reach out and grab those animals when they walk by her. One of my other favorite things about Sandy is her tail. So her tail looks like a fake head. So that's a little bit of a trick. If you were a predator thinking about eating her, you might think her head is her tail, think her tail is her head. And these scales on her tail are extra tough and extra hard. And you might know snake scales are actually made of the same stuff our fingernails are made of. So they're actually made of keratin. So a lot of people think snakes look slimy, feel slimy. Unless they're wet, they really don't feel slimy and they feel like they're covered in a bunch of little fingernails. And Sandy here is actually on the older side. So even though she's a pretty um, small snake, she's not our biggest snake like our red-tailed boa downstairs, Ruby, she's about 15 pounds. So she's quite a bit bigger than Sandy here, but Sandy is full grown for a Kenyan sand boa. So Kenyan sand boas, the boys get maybe one to two feet long. So the boys are about half the size Sandy is. And Sandy is a very large female Kenyan sand boa. She's actually around 27 years old. She lived at the Indianapolis Zoo before coming here to the museum. And they usually live probably 20 to 30 years in the zoo. But hopefully if we take great care of Sandy and she stays nice and healthy, she could live maybe to be 40 years old. So I wanna see if Sandy might wanna show off her digging skills for us today. Like I said, she's an amazing digger and she uses her head, you know, she doesn't have arms or legs to help her dig. So she uses her head just like a shovel to bury herself under the sand. So usually once I set her down, it'll take her a minute or two, but usually she will start to bury herself underneath the sand. And for any of those parents watching out there, reminds me of the movie Tremors from the 80s. If you know that movie, it's a lot like that when she actually buries herself underneath the sand. But of course now, she's got a little bit of stage fright, but usually in a couple minutes, she'll start to bury herself. But you might see her sticking her tongue in and out. That is how she smells. So Sandy right now is smelling around, seeing if we've got any mice for her. She does eat mice here at the museum. She gets one mouse every other week. So they don't have to eat every day. If a Kenyan sand boa in the wild can't find food, they could actually go a year without eating. So there she goes. The main difference between boas and pythons is that boas actually have live babies. So what a Kenyan sand boa does when they're getting ready to have their babies, they lay eggs and the eggs actually hatch inside the mom's stomach and they give birth to live babies. So that's the biggest difference between boas and pythons. Boas have live babies and pythons, like most other snakes, do lay eggs. You can see Sandy there showing off her digging skills a little bit. Thank you guys so much for joining us today for our, our live animal ambassador. And keep, stay tuned for other animals that you guys will be able to come see.